Today we can discuss the chapter 9 hydrogen and inorganic chemistry chapter. Uh, there is uh, no indirect question from this chapter, only direct question. So if you study this, you can score good marks from this chapter. So chapter hydrogen, what are the topics in hydrogen? The first part, uh, we discuss the position of hydrogen in the periodic table. Then isotopes of hydrogen, preparation of hydrogen, properties of hydrogen, different types of hydrides. Then we discuss the compounds of hydrogen, water, properties of water, structure of water, structure of ice, then a hardness of water, methods to remove a temporary and permanent hardness, hydrogen peroxide, its structure, storage, and properties. Finally, hydrogen economy. These are the things we studied in this chapter. We can see various questions uh, that is asked in previous year question papers. Uh, first uh, question, name the compound used in Clark's method for the removal of hardness of water. You know, there are two methods to remove temporary hardness. Which are the two methods, boiling and uh, Clark's method. <clears throat> In Clark's method, uh, we will treat the uh, hard water with the uh, calcium hydroxide. Then if the hard water contains uh, calcium bicarbonate, that will be precipitated as calcium carbonate. And if it contains magnesium bicarbonate, that will be precipitated as magnesium carbonate. Temporary hardness is due, is due to presence of magnesium and calcium bicarbonates. So here answer is calcium hydroxide. Second question. Substance substantiates the atmospheric nature, uh, amphoteric nature of water with the suitable chemical equations. Amphoteric nature, what is meant by amphoteric nature? They exhibit both acidic and basic character. In order to explain the amphoteric nature of water, we, we can write it in a single equation. H2O plus H2O gives H3O plus OH minus. So in which one H2O acts as acid and the other H2O acts as base. Similarly, NH3 plus H2O, NH4OH, which H2O is an acid and NH3 is a base. HCl plus H2O gives H3O plus plus Cl minus. Which HCl is an acid and H2O is a base. So there are a number of examples for that. You can see uh, some examples here. Uh, NH3 plus H2O. NH4 plus plus OH minus, HNO3 plus H2O, H3O plus NO3 minus. Now what is meant by 100 volume H2O2? Usually we are expressing the concentration of H2O2 in terms of volume. And what is the meaning of 100 volume H2O2? That means one ml of that particular H2O2 solution can liberate 100 ml of oxygen at this TP. 1 ml of that H2O2 solution can liberate 100 ml of oxygen at this TP. That is the meaning. Meaning of 100 volume H2O2. Here 100 volume H2O2 is 30% solution of hydrogen peroxide. So what is done by 100 volume H2O2? Simply you can write 30 percentage hydrogen peroxide. Or what you have to write? Whatever may be the volume mass. 100 volume means 1 ml can liberate 100 ml oxygen at STP. 30, 30 volume means 1 ml can liberate 30 ml of oxygen at STP. Okay. 
which among the following is a molecular hydride a number of hydrates are given you are asked to tell which is molecular hydride lih uh, lih you know it is an ionic hydride nh3 nh3 is a molecular hydride crh interstitial hydride lah 2.87 also an interstitial hydride so here answer is nh3 molecular hydrides are uh, three types you know electron rich hydrides electron deficient hydrides and electron precise hydrides okay give a structure give the structure preparation and a chemical reaction of h2o2 structure preparation and a chemical reaction of h2o2 three mark question structure you know it is open book structure isn't it open book structure and here when you draw the structure here you have to draw oxygen at this joint then single bond hydrogen single bond hydrogen open book structure here two structures are given gas phase and solid phase that is not uh, important in the examination you just write open book structure and draw any one of this figure the angles and uh, bond lengths are not necessary but if you can write it that will help you to uh, get uh, high marks okay open book structure that is structure of hydrogen peroxide then preparation of hydrogen peroxide there are several methods uh, here the method given is barium peroxide when treated with uh, sulfuric acid h2o2 is formed then there are different methods one of the method is uh, electrolysis of uh, peroxy disulfates another method is auto oxidation of uh, auto oxidation reduction of two alkyl anthraquinones that is important method two alkyl anthraquinone on uh, oxidation gives h2o2 plus two ethyl anthraquinone which on reduction when you are h2 it will give to ethyl anthraquinol now a chemical reaction of h2o2 one of the important reaction h2o2 decomposes uh, ask to h2o2 gives to h2o plus o2 to h2o2 gives to h2o plus o2 actually the reaction is h2o2 gives h2o plus o O in square bracket. That means atomic oxygen or nascent oxygen. So it is highly oxidizing in nature because of the liberation of uh, nascent oxygen. That is the reason for its uh, bleaching property. Hydrogen peroxide is bleaching in nature. That is the reason for its uh, bleaching property. Now briefly explain different types of uh, hydrides. We already mentioned ionic hydrides. molecular hydrides and interstitial hydrides you can see ionic or saline hydrides uh, usually metal hydrides alkali metal or alkaline or to metal hydrides nh kh ch2 bh2 etc covalent or molecular hydrides hydrides of non metal ch4 nh3 h2 hf etc out of this ch4 is an electron precise molecular hydride or covalent hydride because exact number of electrons are present in the central atom eight electrons nh3 it has a lone pair in nitrogen so that is an electron rich hydride it can give electrons h2 also an electron rich hydride it has two lone pairs it can give electrons hf also an electron rich hydride it has lone pairs so it can give electrons at the same time b2h6 diborane is electron deficient 
then industrial hydrides or metallic hydrides transition metal forms industrial hydrides examples are given here you can note one point group 7 8 9 do not form this hydride that you have to remember in some question papers i saw it group 7 8 9 do not form industrial hydride so group 7 8 9 Uh, they cannot form any of the hydrides. <clears throat> Example: LaH two point eight seven, YbH two point five five. Why this uh, uh, fractions here two point eight seven? Uh, the reason: since it is industrial, it will not maintain any stoichiometry. Hydrogen is entering into the voids or interstitial spaces. Okay. Give a reason for the following. A yeah, H2O2 is stored in wax-lined glass or plastic vessels in that. Already we mentioned H2O2 decomposes. That is a spontaneous process. Decomposition of H2O2. The decomposition will be accelerated by increased by. Uh, sunlight and also sharp uh, edges of the glass so in order to avoid the decomposition of h2o2 we are keeping it in wax lined glass or plastic vessels in the dark that is the reason hard water is not suitable for laundry what is the reason because the soap will be utilized for the removal of hardness that means Soap will react with the soluble calcium and magnesium salts and form calcium soap or magnesium soap. So soap will be destroyed. There is a lot of wastage of soap. That is a reason. Hard water does not readily form lather with soap, so it is not suitable for laundry. There is a lot of wastage of soap. Question number seven. There are two types of uh, hardness of water temporary hardness and permanent hardness give the reason for temporary hardness you know already we mentioned soluble calcium and magnesium bicarbonates are the reason for temporary hardness soluble calcium and magnesium bicarbonate Suggest one method to remove permanent hardness. There are several methods. So the heating with the sodium carbonate, a method to remove uh, permanent hardness. Another method, Kalgan process. Another method, permutic process. Another method, ion exchange, organic ion exchange method. There are several methods. Suggest one method to remove permanent hardness. You can write several. H2O2 is an important chemical. I write a method to prepare H2O2. Already repetition of the question. Represent the structure of H2O2. Repetition of the question. You can see questions are repeating in different question papers. Temporary hardness are due to dissolved bicarbonates of calcium and magnesium. Treating with the sodium carbonate, or you can write a Kalgan process, or you can write permutic process, or organic ion exchange resin method. Okay, question number eight. Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe, but in free state, it is almost not found in Earth, Earth's atmosphere. Reasons: Hydrogen is uh, reacting. Suggesting three methods for the preparation of H2 gas by selecting suitable substances given below. Several methods are uh, several substances are given. You have to write a method to prepare hydrogen, sodium. Very simple. Na plus H2 gives NaOH plus H2. H2 will be liberated. Zinc. You can take zinc and HCl. Zn plus HCl gives Zn Cl2 plus H2. Very simple. CaH2. CaH2 also liberate hydrogen in presence of water. CaH2 plus H2 gives CaOH2 plus H2. Uh, 
aluminium aluminium can liberate hydrogen from dilute gases aluminium plus uh, hno3 dilute hno3 gives lno3 thrice plus h2 you have to write at least three naoh single plus naoh gives uh, single uh, na is it then o2 plus na2 is it then o2 plus h2 sodium singlet plus h2 you have to write only three methods ah here uh, you can see ch2 plus hcl gives cl2 plus h2 sodium plus hcl gives sodium cl2 plus h2 na plus h2 gives naoh plus h2 do you expect carbon hydrides of the type cnh2 plus 2 act as lewis acid or base why they cannot act as lewis acid or base why because they are electron precise hydrates they cannot donate electron they cannot accept electron so they cannot act as lewis acid or lewis base okay next question discuss position of hydrogen in the periodic table the first part of the chapter hydrogen has a resemblance with alkali metals and uh, halogens but it has differences also you, you have to write one or two for example alkali metals it's a general electronic configuration ns1 hydrogen's electronic configuration ns1 alkali metals shows uh, oxidation state of plus 1 hydrogen also shows oxidation state of plus 1 alkali metals react with the halogen hydrogen also react with the halogen and form similar compounds so in this way we can write the number of similarities between hydrogen and alkali metals similarly difference there is difference alkali metals uh, they have monoatomic molecules but hydrogen diatomic in nature alkali metals are solids but hydrogen is a gas such uh, differences are there similarly halogens when we consider halogens uh, halogens uh, react with alkali metals hydrogen also react with alkali metals from similar compounds halogens need one more electron to get a noble gas configuration hydrogen also need one more electron to get a noble gas configuration hydrogen is diatomic halogens are also diatomic but at the same time we can see differences general electronic configuration is different hydrogen can show plus one oxygen state but uh, halogens they are showing oxidation variable oxygen state except the fluorine fluorine showing only minus 1 oxygen state but other halogens are showing variable oxidation state up to plus 7 so with the halogens there is difference so hydrogen is given a separate position above alkali metals in the periodic table H two O two is heavily changed, and already we discussed the reason. When it decomposes, it will produce nascent oxygen. Density of ice is lower than that of water because of its structure. In ice, one water molecule is surrounded by four other water molecules tetrahedrally. Therefore, there are lot of cavities in between the water molecules. When it melts, hydrogen bond breaks. and water molecules are entering into the cavity these are the results so density ice is lower than that of water simply here it is uh, simply given as uh, hydrogen bond but we you don't simply write it as hydrogen bond but what you have to write uh, in ice one water molecule is tetrahedrally surrounded by four other water molecules through hydrogen bond therefore there are lot of cavities in ice that is the reason okay now we can go to the next question hydrogen peroxide restores the color of lead paintings give reason hydrogen peroxide is an oxidizing agent it can liberate nascent oxygen the lead paintings will uh, will change it to dark color because of the formation of lead sulfide so the dark color of lead paintings is due to 
the formation of lead sulfide. If we can remove lead sulfide, then we will get uh, the original color of lead paintings. Lead sulfide can be oxidized to lead sulfate. Thus we can remove uh, lead sulfide. For that purpose, we can use hydrogen peroxide. PBS plus 4H2O2 gives PBS of 4 plus 4H2O. How does the atomic hydrogen torch function for cutting and welding purpose? Hydrogen atoms are allowed to recombine on the surface to be welded to generate the temperature of 4000 Kelvin. That is the principle of the hydrogen torch. Uh, the hydrogen atoms are generated that will combine on the surface of surface. And uh, at that time, high temperature will be liberated that can be used for welding purpose. Atomic hydrogen torch, that is atomic hydrogen torch. Hydrogen reacts with the most of the metals and non-metals to form hydrides. A, elements in which one of the following group or groups of the periodic table do not form hydride. Now I think you can easily say the answer. This is the answer, third one, group seven, eight, and nine. Already we discussed it. We explained the different types of coal and hydrides with a suitable example. And also we already discussed electron division, B2H6. Electron rich, NH3, H2O, HF. Electron precise, CH4. And see it here. Okay, we can go to the next question. Question number 12. Syn gas is a mixture of dash. The preparation of hydrogen using carbon monoxide hydrogen mixture that is syn gas carbon monoxide is the second one a sample of rubber water does not give lather with the soap easily when it is cold but on heating gives ready lather with the soap why because the water has temporary hardness temporary hardness can be removed by heating simple boiling temporary hardness can be removed Draw the structure of hydrogen peroxide molecule, open book structure. Already we discussed it. Repetition of question. You can see repetition of question. Here is the answers. Okay, now the next question. 13. Give one reaction supporting the amphoteric nature of water. Question is repeated. H2O plus H2O gives H3O plus plus OH minus. That single reaction represent uh, acidic and basic properties of water. One water molecule acts as acid and the other water molecule will act as the base. Write the names of any two electron rich hydrides. Now I think you can say NH3, H2O, HF. Complete the following reaction CHCO3 twice on heating. CaOH twice plus H2O plus CO2. Sorry, not CaOH twice, CaCO3. CaCO3 plus H2O plus CO2. CaCO3 will be precipitated that can be removed by filtration. So on simple heating or boiling, what happens? Temporary hardness can be removed. The precipitated CO, CO3 can be removed by filtration. Then the remaining water contains no soluble salt of calcium or magnesium. Okay, now question 14. H2O2 is a bleaching agent. We discussed the reason why it is a bleaching agent. It can produce nascent oxygen. Already discussed. Complete the following reaction. Na2 sudden O2. We already mentioned this equation. Sudden plus NaOH gives Na2 is sudden O2. Sodium singate plus H2. In a seminar, if you are asked to present a paper on hydrogen economy, write any two points which are going to include in your paper. What is hydrogen economy? First, you should know what is hydrogen economy and you have to tell it. The storage and transport of energy in the form of hydrogen. 
that is hydrogen economy storage and transport of energy in the form of hydrogen the form of hydrogen means liquid hydrogen the form of liquid hydrogen or gaseous hydrogen that is hydrogen economy so when you write about the hydrogen economy first you have to write its definition what is hydrogen economy then you can say hydrogen can be used as a fuel and that the hydrogen can be used for the generation of electricity if we can store hydrogen properly then there is no question of storage of uh, electricity no need to store electricity if we can store energy in the form of hydrogen no need to store electricity and now it is needed we can generate the electricity from hydrogen so now we discussed about three points you write in two okay question number 15 what is an amphoteric substance what is an amphoteric substance which can show both oh, sorry water is an amphoteric substance what is an amphoteric substance which can show both acidic and basic characters why water is amphoteric why then simply you can say water behave as acid in presence of strong bases and water behave as base in presence of strong acids you can write one equation Uh, we have a simple equation to remember h2o plus h2o gives h3o plus oh minus in which one h2 act as acid and the other h2 act as base or the other equation nh3 plus h2o gives nh4 plus oh minus h2o plus hcl gives h3o plus plus cl minus such equations are there hydrides are binary compounds of hydrogen with other elements give one example h4 electron division and electron rich hydride electron division b2h6 electron rich nh3 h2o hf we mentioned it several times isn't it okay question number 16 about 18% of the total production of dihydrogen is from coal what is coal gasification uh, red hot carbon when superheated steam is passed over red hot carbon what happens it will be converted to co and h2 carbon is solid but co and h2 are gases water gas so it is known as coal gasification the process of producing syn gas from coal is called coal gasification c plus h2o gas 1270 kelvin gives co plus h2 how is dihydrogen produced by water gas shift reaction in water gas uh, shift reaction means co plus h2 is again treated with h2o then what happens co will be converted to co2 and h2 will be produced that is water gas shift reaction uh, this equation is not correct this equation correct equation is co plus H two plus H two O gives C O two plus two H two. That is the correct equation. So what is the correct equation? C O plus H two plus H two. C O plus H two is water gas plus H two gas. The six hundred three Kelvin in presence of catalyst gives C O two plus two H two. That is water gas shift reaction. See, write in two uses of dihydrogen. Hydrogen can be used for the manufacture of ammonia, manufacture of uh, vegetable fat, vanaspati, by the hydrogenation of vegetable oils. Uh, then, hydrogen is used as a fuel. So we can write uh, many such. uses of hydrogen hard water contains calcium ions calcium 
and a magnesium source. Therefore, it does not lather with the soap. Hard water is harmful for boilers. Why? In boilers at a very high temperature, what happens? Scaling. These salts may be deposited in the sides of the boiler, walls of the boiler. As a result, the inner volume will decrease and pressure increase, and as a result, explosion of boilers may happen. Explosion of boilers. That is due to scaling. If it is hard water, possibility for scaling is small. How will you remove the hardness from water by using washing soda? Treat it with Na2CO3, then what happens? Calcium will react with Na2, Ca2 plus react with Na2CO3 and form CaCO3. It will be precipitated. Mg2 plus will react with the Na2CO3 to form MgCO3 and will be uh, deposited or uh, coagulated, precipitated. We can remove the precipitated carbonates, thus we can make it soft. Which method is more suitable for get pure demineralized water? Pure demineralized water, organic ion exchange method. Hydrogen peroxide is stored in plastic vessels in dark white. Repetition of the question. In order to prevent decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. What is the reason hydrogen peroxide will decompose quickly in presence of light and sharp edges of glass? Answers are given here with equations when it is treated with the sodium carbonate. You can write these two equations. Very easy to remember. Okay. Question number 18. Permanent hardness of water can be removed by chemical methods. Write the name of any one salt responsible for permanent hardness of water. Ischium chloride, ischium sulfate, calcium chloride, calcium sulfate. Sodium hexametaphosphate is commercially called carbon. How is sodium hexametaphosphate useful in removing the permanent hardness of water? Calgan can arrest Ca2 plus and Mg2 plus ions in it. Thus, it removes soluble Mg2 plus and Ca2 plus from hard water. Suggest a disadvantage of hard water. Cannot be used for washing purpose. Cannot be used in boilers. These are the answers. Here, calcium chloride, calcium sulfate, magnesium chloride, magnesium sulfate. Solubles also calcium and magnesium. So here equations are given. Arresting of Ca2 plus and Mg2 plus, you can see here. That is arrested here. If, if it is possible, study the equation. Otherwise, you simply write. Carbon arrests Ca2 plus and Mg2 plus ions in it by releasing Na plus ions. Thus, hardness can be removed. Vegetable oil is converted to vegetable fat by hydrogenation, simple hydrogenation. Addition of hydrogen to double bonded vegetable oil. D2O is generally called heavy water. Not hard water, but what? Heavy water, heavy water. Hydrogen peroxide is an important chemical used in pollution control treatment of domestic and industrial effluents. Write the formula of hydrogen peroxide. H2O2. Draw the structure of hydrogen peroxide. Open book structure. So you, now you may understand the importance of the structure of hydrogen peroxide. It is repeatedly asking. So should not to draw the structure of hydrogen peroxide. Explain with the suitable chemical equation why hydrogen peroxide is stored in wax lined glass or plastic vessel in dark. Repeated it several times, isn't it? Because H2O2 will decompose to produce H2O and O2. And in order to prevent the decomposition of H2O2, that will be accelerated in presence of sunlight and sharp edges of glasses. It is stored in dark and in wax lined plastic vessels, wax lined glass or plastic vessels. 
okay next question account for the following observation the density wise is lower than that of water repeated question what is the reason simply we can say in ice each water molecule is surrounded by four water molecules through hydrogen bond therefore a lot of cavities are present in ice that is the answer hard water does not give ready lather with soap because soap will react with the calcium and magnesium ions to form calcium soap or magnesium soap which is insoluble justify the position of hydrogen in the periodic table again repetition of the question you can see hydrogen resembles in properties with the halogens and also with alkali metals there are difference between the properties of hydrogen and, and alkali metals hydrogen and halogen therefore hydrogen is given a special position above alkali metals in the periodic table you can write down some of the similarities and uh, dissimilarities with alkali metals and halogens since it has two mark you have to write at least two difference 21 the efficiency of a boiler is found to decrease when boiler scales are formed which are the possible common present in water for scale formation calcium and magnesium salt soluble calcium and magnesium salts we can say calcium chloride calcium sulfate magnesium chloride magnesium sulfate write the chemistry of scale formation the chemistry of scale formation at a high temperature this calcium salts may be precipitated and that will deposit on the surface suggest a suitable chemical method to prevent the scale formation removal of hardness that is a suitable method for uh, prevent scale formation so removal is instead of simply writing removal of hardness what you can say you can write in one method for example here the uh, claps process is explained coh twice and uh, during boiling what happens uh, if there are bicarbonates that will decompose and deposit of calcium carbonate or magnesium carbonate okay Uh, here uh, they are uh, concentrated on the bicarbonates in the, in the question they are concentrating on bicarbonates so uh, salts are responsible for scale formation is given as uh, cahco3 twice and uh, mghco3 twice so here match the following so here in this match the following section a b and c are the a b and c are the protium tritium protium is an isotope of uh, hydrogen isotopes a3 then what we can uh, see ah this uh, isotopes of hydrogen so protium tritium isotopes hydrogen similarly you have to uh, compare the three ch2 plus mg2 plus you know hard water and what is uh, suitable from the third one non lather with soap ch2 plus mg2 plus hard water non lather with soap H2O2 perhydro that is the commercial name of H2O2 commercially available H2O2 is known as perhydro H2O2 perhydro antiseptic antiseptic D2O heavy water moderate in nuclear reactor you can see the answers here okay 23 what is heavy water D2O mention one of its use in nuclear reactors as moderator explain why hydrogen peroxide is not stored in glass vessel sharp edges of glass will accelerate its decomposition what is kargen what is its use sodium hexametaphosphate is kargen it is used for the removal of permanent hardness name the isotope of hydrogen protium deuterium and tritium 1h1 1h2 1h3 what is heavy water d2o what is a moderator in nuclear reactors what is the function of moderator or it is the speed of the neutrons hard water does not give ready lather with the soap what is the reason for hardness dissolved salts of calcium and magnesium ca2 plus mg2 plus ions dissolved ca2 plus mg2 plus or we can say cacl2 caso4 mgcl2 mgso4 what are the two types of hardness temporary hardness and permanent hardness suggest one method to remove hardness action of washing soda kargen process permutative process or zeolite process organic and exchange matter so we discussed several questions from this chapter and you studied this chapter today itself and uh, uh, try to score maximum marks from this chapter okay